Hi. This is the first video of the series of three videos where we will share with you how to launch a virtual machine and install LAMP stick into that CloudFront server. In this example, we're using AWS EC2. So follow me step by step. So let's get started. Um, first of all, what I want you to do, I want you to go to the description and I want you to download um, three softwares. The first one I, I recommend is uh, PuttyGen. Uh, but if you go on puttygen.com here, you will go to download and, and uh, go to Putty for Windows, depend which operating system you're using. So you click on uh, the operating system that you're using, you will go down and here I will recommend putty.exe depends which operating system you're using you click on that install it and um, the second one is puttygen.exe these two and the third one I would recommend is FileZilla you will go to an, on the FileZilla official website and download um, FileZilla for client if you don't know how to download or install it you can search on on YouTube how to do that so I'm not going to explain I'll recommend these are the notes all the commands and everything I've um, um, to make your life easy I will I will provide this into the description so you can download this whole uh, commands and everything into the description so I want you to download all these four FileZilla, Putty, PuttyGen and LAMP stick Ubuntu um, all, all the all the commands and when you have all these four and then you can come and you can follow me so here if you want to launch um, AWS server what you need to do, you have to go to aws.amazon.com. You have to sign up for an account. I will not show you how to sign up for an account. It's it's easy. You click on sign up. You put your name, details, and card details, and everything. I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, so once you sign up, you sign into your account, and you go um, you go to services. And here you can see all the services offered by it's a wide wide variety of services they offer so if you go and compute uh, you click on EC2 and here you will launch instance uh, there are many type of instances and many you know you can you can order um, a spot um, request as well and you can do you know reserve the in instances as well but I'm not going to go in that detail what you need the simplest way is the uh, launch an instance you click on free tier if you are uh, if you just sign up Amazon give you uh, one year free um, service limited service so here what I, I want you to do I want you to go to all the way down and Ubuntu server. I like Ubuntu because Ubuntu is one of the advanced and um, um, latest Linux based server. So I want you to use, you know, latest. That's what I like. So if you go uh, on Ubuntu server 21.0, you click here, select, and you click on the middle one because it's free tier. If you click any other um, uh, compute power you have to pay for it it's not free but if you click here free tier eligible is free you go next and here um, everything you will keep it same and um, but if you click here I will, I will quickly I will explain you what is that so here if you click unlimited what it does if your server if your website that you're hosting is get really really busy and and you start getting like thousands and millions of customer and it gets really busy and your server needs a bigger compute power then what it does it will go beyond the limit so if you click on that it will allow server allow your your computer to use more power but it will cost you extra so you know if, if you don't want yourself to, to charge extra you can click here otherwise you don't click here anyway you go next here 30 GB 30 is as you can see here 30 is free so you can type 30 which is free you go next here you can add tags you can say name and name tag and I can say 
um, web server next here um, I want you to create um, HTTP and HTTPS and HTTP so HTTP HTTPS yeah and here you will choose anywhere 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 here it giving you a warning um, that if you use if you keep all anywhere your server can be accessed from any IP address um, so um, we're, we're doing just for experiment purposes only so we will we'll keep it as it is uh, for, for the moment you need these three you go next and here um, it will ask you to review all what what you selected everything fine and here you will generate a new key create a new pair I will say web server example download download it make sure you keep it safe you do not lose it if you lose this key you will not be able to get into your server so you launch your server is launching so by the time it is launching go to elastic IPs I want you to allocate IP address go down allocate and then select that IP address that you that you allocated and then you can associate that IP address to and the server that um, the server that you just launch what it does it will keep your IP freeze like it, it will give you a, a permanent IP address um, because each time if you shut your server down or if if your server restart it will give you every time it will give you a new IP address which you don't want so by doing that elastic IP and associating with your server um, what you're doing you are associating a single IP address which will not going to change so that IP address is it's associated already as you can see here this IP address all right as you can see that um, the server is running and uh, you know no alarm status or anything so um, what I want you to do I want you to go to party chain I want you to load remember we downloaded the, the key so you go in that folder where you downloaded the key you select that key PAM open it it will give you alarm that that's successfully imported and now you click on save private key so you save private key click on yes give the name web server and then you click on save it will save the key so basically you're converting from PAM to PPK. So if you go on download software uh, downloads there and here you can see two files. Okay, all good. So now I want you to go. I want you to go to Putty, and I want you to go to connections, and then I want you to go to SSH, and here auth. You click on auth. You you import that key, um, server PPK key open it and I want you to go here you need to paste your IP address so this is the IP address you copy it you paste it and then click open first time it will give you just say yes and here um, uh, this one you already downloaded from the from my description so you keep it on one side and keep this putty on the other side or side by side here you will type Ubuntu it will authenticate because we already provided the key it will authenticate and it will launch so now you are inside your server so here what I want you to do I want you to do the first of all just follow follow here step by step everything is here just follow step by step please follow with me because I want you to explain step by step what's going on you need to understand what's going on here so first of all you will copy the first one and paste it what it does it will it will make you an administrator you see root root is an administrator so second command is password it will create a password for you and make sure you do not forget that password so you keep your password um, safe 
password it will ask you again enter the same password okay password successfully now I will clear it so we'll have more screen now the second command is this it will update and upgrade everything into the server okay okay um, that command is done so I will clear it and the third command it will set your time okay here you don't have to depends where you are if you are in London I'm in London so I'm, I'm typing London uh, time zone I'm setting my server time into London if you are somewhere else you have to set the time of your server according to your location so um, here you will click it will set the time if you want to set if you want to see the time you will type date and it will show you the time and the date of the server okay um, next so here uh, the third command I want you to download is I want you to download Apache Apache server so here you will click that command and it will download Apache 2 yeah I will clear it the third one um, this is uh, a firewall setting which is compulsory okay so this is a list this in this list type um, and this command um, I do not want to make this video too long so I'm not gonna go in a detail very very detail but these are the firewall um, settings that you have to do in order to perform your server um, better also it will uh, if you want to install free SSL certificate you will need these settings okay everything is done as it's showing you all allow and everything is done here the third one I want you to do I want you to check installation that if it's okay so if you type this command this command will only show you if your Apache is active and running as you can see is active and running which is good active and running so here if you press Q from a keyboard if you press Q it will go back here and now I will uh, I can type clear so we'll have more space we go down we'll restart the Apache copy here and we paste Apache is restarted um, and the next step I, I want to do install um, MySQL um, which is the database um, yeah it's done we will clear it so we will have more space and we will copy it and and paste it and here as you can see is active and running yeah if you want to get out from this just press Q what this command enable what is com what this command will does if you restart your server you, your MySQL will not going to run automatically you have to come back and run it again but with this command and you're telling your server that whenever your ser your server restart it will restart it will automatically start the the mysql as well so that what you're doing now we will secure our um server uh, mysql so here just type um, just type enter don't try uh, don't type y or n just type enter and here you will type new password um, so the new password will be I'm typing okay okay now it is asking you um, anonymous user just say why 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 all done yeah type clear so you have more space okay and next step you install PHP so just copy this whole command so basically what you're doing you are installing PHP and all the, the most um, most used extensions as well so um, this will install PHP in that server and install all the extensions that we need yeah it's done um, so um, we can clear it 
and then we can type uh, PHP space V it will show you like this is the PHP latest version okay uh, the second extension that we want is this unzip And the third one is this. Okay, so we will clear it. We'll go up, and here the fourth command is we have to configure the PHP. So you type here this command and you press F6, and here you need to search. First, oh, first you will search this, you copy it, come here and you paste and press enter. It will find that line for you. You just have to change those settings. Why we are doing these settings? Ch we're changing these settings because um, for the better performance. So you just type 3, 2, okay, 32. Okay, so we, we, we're doing this for better performance. That's all. again F6 and then copy paste here yeah, this type 1000 save the changes you will uh, you will press control and X it will ask you to save just Y and then enter it will save all the settings for you now you what you have to do you have to restart your Apache you copy and paste and your Apache is restart. This is how your LAMP sticks server is ready. Um, so into the next video, I will explain you how you can install WordPress and host two website. So stay tuned. I know you turn it on. Install lamb stick server into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take two.